Hello friends, this is Sam Trainer reporting for WeaponizingNews.com. Today is May 29th, 2016. This is a report about transhumanism, the merger of man and machine, the elite's promise of immortality to upload your consciousness to the matrix type system to live forever. They're slowly but surely conditioning the public to accept transhumanism. Here's a report out of the mirror, vibrating penises and bionic arms, the real life inventions turning people into cyborgs with superhuman powers. The idea of implanting technology in your body may make you feel a bit squeamish, but these people are becoming cyborgs voluntarily. Let's watch a quick video about have it. Additional features. So this is kind of a removable panel, which is mounted with magnets. Uh, and I've been 3D printing at home to make accessories for my, my own body. So we've got an elbow, which can be unlocked and locked with a button to be put in different positions. And a rotatable wrist, which I have to rotate myself. So stuff like cut, oops. So if I position it, hopefully it's stuff like cups can be held, yeah, so it's kind of gripping in different ways. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the fingers can do a whole bunch of different grips and it can be coded with a computer, so I can plug into the hand and choose the positions of the fingers and obviously I could pr program some vulgar gestures if <laughs> I wanted to. So. The arm itself has like additional functions. Uh, I've got, for myself, I've added lighting so that I can have different colors uh, and like theme it in different ways. Which is kind of fun. It's kind of because I'm really into colored lights. It allows me to to, to change it for my mood. Um, there's a there's also a torch in the wrist, which is quite handy for seeing in the dark. There's a laser pointer. There's also a smartwatch in the wrist that we've mounted so that I can use it. Whereas before I didn't have anywhere to put it, okay. so we kind of made a, an integration point for it where it can right. be charged, right. and I can get my tweets. I can send messages and voice control my phone through it. So it's it's really handy. Make no mistake, this is dehumanization. As I feel for amputees and want them to have prosthetic limbs that work for them, also know that this is condition conditioning the public to accept transhumanism. Continuing, from the gadget-packed bionic arm that is transforming one amputee's life to the antenna implanted in a color-blind artist's head that allows him to hear colors. Technology is transforming the human experience, but with more and more people turning to technology to solve their problems, will mankind eventually morph into a race of cyborgs with superhuman powers? It may sound far-fetched, but technology and medicine is evolving at such a rate that almost anything is possible when it comes to manipulating the human body. Prosthetics are becoming more advanced. Sensors and chips are now small enough to be embedded in people's bodies, and scientists are even learning how to safely manipulate parts of the brain. With our reliance on technology growing daily, Mirror Online takes a look at some of the real life inventions that offer an early glimpse into our cyborg future. Again, conditioning the public to accept transhumanism, the merger of man and machines. A matrix type system is being rolled out in reality to put us in a virtual reality. Hearing colors. Spanish artist and musician, Neil Harsbon, this guy right here, was born with a rare form of color blindness. For years, he wore an external electronic eye, which picked up color frequencies through its camera and transformed them into distinct sounds. However, two years ago, he convinced surgeons to implant a chip inside his skull similar to the cochlear implant used by the hard of hearing that converts images into sound vibrations. The antenna, which he calls the iBorg, consists of a camera on one end and an audio input on the other, which is now implanted into the back of his skull. Dehumanization. 
A Wi-Fi connector inside the chip also allows him to hear images sent from a mobile phone without even looking at them. The bionic arm. Part man, part machine. Computer game fanatic James Young tragically lost his arm and leg when he was dragged on the tracks between two carriages of a train. Despite his loss, James refuses to let it interrupt his life. He even taught himself to use a gaming controller with his teeth and gets around using a wheelchair for long distances. A year ago, he answered an advert for a gaming company looking for an amputee gamer. He ended up receiving a bionic arm from gaming company Kinobi. Kainami. Modeled on lead character Snake from Metal Gear Solid. The arm was created using a 3D printer after four months of design. It is controlled by sensors which react to muscle movement in his back. The arm has a quadcopter drone which can launch and fly from his arm. A built-in smartwatch, charging points for mobile phones, and can grip and lift. It also has lighting which can which he can change to suit his mood and a laser and torch. Mind control. Again, this is conditioning the public to accept transhumanism. Mind control. Kevin Warwick, professor of cybernetics at Reading University, has had several chips implanted into his arm since 1997. These chips link his nervous system to a computer. They work by emitting electric, electronic currents when they pick up radio frequencies transmitted nearby. By receiving and acting on these signals, computers can operate a range of devices like turning on lights and when work enters a room and opening doors automatically. It is hoped the technology could one day help elderly people with a range of day-to-day -day tasks. How about other humans helping elderly people with day-to-day -day tasks? Again, this is part of the conditioning and dehumanization to get the public to accept transhumanism. There's a bunch of different robots. The robot mule. Robots showing moods and emotions. And of course, Terminator. Sex robots. The eye camera. Here's the eye camera. This is an abomination against creation. Rob Spence lost the use of his eye following a shooting accident when he was nine. But decades on, the Canadian documentary maker had the idea of replacing the eye with a camera. Spence, who now calls himself Iborg, said the iCam allows him to conduct interviews without the intrusion or distraction of bulky cameras and film crews. The iCam resembles a regular prosthetic eye but is embedded with a camera. Spence cannot see out of the lens, but, but a what the eye can see is visible from a handheld monitor. The camera can be switched on and off with the tap of a button. Vibrating penis. Rich Lee, who describes himself as a biohacker, transhumanist, and space gangster, came to prominence in 2013 after implanting headphones in his ears, which allowed him to pick up audio signals beyond the range of human hearing. Now he has created an, an implant called the Lovetron 9000, which can be inserted beneath a man's pubic bone to make his penis vibrate during sex. The Lovetron 9000 runs on rechargeable batteries that can operate for about 45 minutes on a single charge, according to Lee. Like a normal vibrator, it offers multiple pulses and rhythms to choose from. The idea, it seems, is to turn the man with the implant into a human vibrator for his partner's pleasure. Let Lee himself will be the first person to receive the implant known as a sub 
Subdermal Sexual Enhancement Vibrator later this year. Do you welcome our cyborg future? No, I do not. It's an abomination against creation. And again, while some of these devices may help handicap people, we have to continue to ask the question, can hackers hack these devices and take them over? Can the NSA, the government, other intelligence agencies, foreign intelligence agencies, black hat, Hackers with bad intentions, all these considerations must be taken into consideration. And also we must reject the false pro promise of transhumanism immortality, which all these systems are conditioning us to accept. Please do your own research about cyborgs, about transhumanism, and about the abomination against creation that it is. Subscribe to this channel, speak out, and take action.